He needs to propose to me within six months. So Quaylon has been in prison for 12 years. He goes to visit Chevelle, Chevelle's mom and Chevelle's daughter. She has a five-year-old. And she he goes over there. He's got a little goldfish or whatever, some kind of fish in, in like a bowl or whatever. And the kid is like giving him a hug. And she's like, I had to replay this a few times because I was like, what did she say? Did she really say that? The kid's like, why smell like that? <laughs> why do you smell like that? You shouldn't smell like that. That kid that said we smell <laughs> like that. The kids are relentless. I'm like, these people did the tan 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 three times. They have to tell us all about it. And he smells funky and he's going to visit his soon to be hopefully mother in law smelling bad because you know kids will tell you the truth. Kids don't hide anything. They will tell you what it is like it is. So that's scary. She really just said, You need a shower if you smell like that. And she said it walking away. She's like, You will need a shower if you smell like that. <laughs> she really has an attitude. She's funny. But then it's so funny because everybody just starts laughing. I'm like, oh gosh, you, you need to be careful because this kid, this kid's gonna say some very embarrassing stuff in front of people uh, when she's out and about. You, you gotta watch it. They got a smart mouth at that at that age. You gotta watch it. But anyway, I was like that, and I'm still like that. I say it like it is. So Quaylon knows that Chevelle's mom. I know Sylvia about to be down my throat with these questions. So he knows it's about to get down. So if I were him, I would have start, started preparing what I'm going to say, started preparing what I'm going to be talking about and the answers that I'm going to give. But you will see something. So what is your plans for my daughter and my granddaughter? If you have to answer that question, well, um, that's, that's wrong. Well, um... You should come prepared. You should come prepared and just start answering like boom, bam, bam. It's like this, it's like that, it's like that. You've had a very long time to prepare this speech or this whatever that you're gonna, you know. So the mother goes on to ask, is, is marriage in the plan? And he says, I can't sit up here and tell you the future because I don't know it. We still gotta get familiar. You still have to get familiar. You just got out of prison. You did the tan 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 three times in a row in one night. But you all still have to get familiar. See, this is where some, sometimes these things they just don't line up. You know, you guys are doing everything back to front, trying to play house, but you don't even have a house yet. You're not even at your house yet. Um, trying to play house, but there's a kid involved who doesn't even know who you are, but it's already calling you daddy because confusion. Um, playing house, you don't really know who he is because you've not really been with him. Now he's afraid to commit because that's what a wedding is. That's what marriage is because he thinks you guys are yet to get familiar. Why didn't you get familiar before you started, you know, making some really big life changes? What happens when this girl one day doesn't see you anymore? Like, where did daddy go? Daddy number two, where did he go? She's just five. She doesn't have to go through this. Chevelle must have gone through stuff if her baby daddy is not around. I don't know what he's doing. Like, I don't know if these people will, okay, obviously, 99% of these people will come out of prison. They don't have anywhere to stay or anywhere to go. They don't have a house. They don't have anything. Like, literally, they'll give them the, the clothes that they came with when they entered the prison, and that is it. So having this, having this pen pal thing that turns into a relationship gives them some kind of stability. I really hope this guy is not using her. You know, because it's different from being on the phone. He's all like, they need familiarity because it's different when you're talking on the phone and the mom is like oh yeah because i'm sure she's told chevelle this a million gazillion times and chevelle's just scratching her hair like i need responsibility to keep me focused mm, this is not what i thought today was gonna be like but okay now he's saying he needs responsibility to keep himself focused now mm, is this why you're in a relationship with chevelle so that you can have responsibility you have these two other people that you need to care about plus those with the mother-in-law as well you've got this whole new family that you need to worry about and that will keep you on the straight and not and narrow is that is that what it is because that's like that's like some kind of plan b like i might not be able to do this thing by myself so let me get involved in a relationship or something with other people and that will keep me on the right path ridiculous then the mom is like she's put her eggs in one basket before and if you put them in there too soon they don't, don't hatch. hatch so yeah it's an interesting analogy, but I think I know where she's going. So then Chevelle is like, my, my Eli, Eli is, is learning to, to love, love him. him. So basically, he needs to propose in six months. You guys did not discuss this beforehand. Like, I can't. I can't. See you tomorrow for the next one. I can't. I cannot. Lack of communication. I can't. I cannot. See you tomorrow. We'll talk about another couple. <laughs> Bye.